about the universe, okay? First, you have to know that universe is the wide space around us, including some galaxies, stars, planets, all of these float uh, inside this space. And I want you to know that uh, there are some forms of matter and some forms of energy also uh, float in the space, okay? This universe we will study, and you have to know that if we measure the diameter of the universe, it is very, very big. I want to all of you to guess, have some seconds to guess how wide is this uh, universe or what length is that diameter? Yes, that's right. It's about 93 billion light years. Okay? No, no. I heard someone who said that years is a measuring unit of time. No, light year, it's a unit for measuring distance, not time. Okay? We will study later that the light year is about the distance that light travels in one year. It's a very, very, very big distance, okay? We can't measure it by kilometer or something like else. Light year. So, the diameter of the universe is about 93 billion light years. It's very wide. The most famous theory in studying the universe is the Big Bang Theory. Okay, it is the most famous one. Our galaxy is called Milky Way. Okay, and our solar system lies in the, the inner edge of its Orion arm. Okay, and it is formed 4.6 billion years ago. Okay, it's very, very old. The solar system is the sun and some other objects that orbits it. Okay, either in direct way or indirect way. Okay, so we will study this solar system. Uh, and our system, our solar system, sorry, uh, consists of the sun and some uh, planets. There are eight planets we will study and uh, some dwarf planets just like Pluto. You know, I think all of you know about it. The solar system consists of eight planets. We will study them with every detail and also you have to know that there are some dwarf planets. Okay, these dwarf planets just like Pluto. I think all of you know about Pluto. Okay, these eight planets consist of two groups. The first group is the inner planets and the second group is the outer planets. The inner planets, there are four and you have to know that there are rocky, okay? These four planets, number one, Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet and also it is the nearest planet to the sun. Number two, Venus. I want you to know something that is very important. It is called the Venus after the name of the god of the beauty. Okay, it's named after uh, after that god. Uh, and number three, Earth. Earth is a planet where we live. We live on the surface of the Earth. It's the third planet and we live on its surface. Okay? Uh, I want you to know something that is very important, is that it is called the watery planet. It's because uh, its area divided into two parts. First, 71% of it, of its surface, is water. Water including oceans, rivers, seas, lakes, and so on. And 21 of it is land. This is Earth, where we live. Number four, Mars. And Mars is known as the red planet. That's because um, its rocks contain of red uh, color, reddish color. This reddish color is come, comes from um, its uh, iron oxides. Its rocks consist of iron oxides. Okay? So these four planets were the internal uh, planets. Okay? You have to know that they are Loki planets. And the second group, the outer four planets, we will study them also. To study the outer planets, let's start with uh, Jupiter, the fifth planet, and it is a giant planet. It's, a planet. it's very, very big, okay? Uh, and number six, Saturn, and Saturn is characterized by having some colored rings around it. Number seven, Uranus, and Uranus is the cold planet. It's very cold, okay? And uh, actually, we will study Number eight, it's the eight planets, a planet, it's uh, uh, Neptune, and it is the blue planet. Now, I want you to know that this 
outer planets are called gassy planets, okay? We said that the inner planets are rocky planets, but these outer planets are gassy planets, okay? These four outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, gassy planets. And this, uh, there are, uh, uh, sorry, there is uh, an important information I wanted to tell you or edit it, um, that uh, uh, Venus is called or named after the Roman gods, gods of beauty and love, not Greek, okay? I wish you got the universe easily and I wish you can study it easily, okay? See you next session and thank you for watching the video.